Peace, loves. Thank you so much for joining me here in this moment. So I wanted to talk about why you are attracting narcissists into your life. Um, you're attracting narcissists into your life because your intuition is off. See, if you were in tune with your intuition, you will be able to read people. You know, you would be able, when you come into contact with people, that initial feeling that you get when you are with people, you will understand and you will see the power in that. See, you overlook yourself. You overlook the small things, you know. Um, maybe you met somebody and, and something was off. You know, that day was going great. You know how you can get into your, your routine and everything is going great and you know, you meet certain people and then your day just got even better. And then you come into contact with people and like things just start to like discombobulate in your life. And so when you meet these people who are manipulators, who are narcissists, you overlook their energy because typically these people have, you know, they'll smile in your face, they'll seem pretty cool, eccentric, whatever. And, but, and you will run with that. You will run with the physicality of things, but you, you're not really tapping and tuning into how it feels. See, if you tapped and tuned, if you were tapping in and tuned into how things feel, you would question, and maybe you do question, like when I first met this person, I got like weird vibes. Well, if you got weird vibes, you know, why are you sitting here trying to explore the weird vibes? Why are you, why are you ignoring the weird vibes? You just talked about it and maybe you, would bring that up to them like yeah i feel a little weird around you sometimes like don't tell the manipulator and the narcissist that you feel weird you know just distance yourself from the weird energy and later time will reveal um if it's aligned why you were feeling that way so the reason why you're attracting narcissists and they come into your life and things of that nature like the narcissist just exists like the trees, like everything, the narcissist exists. The manipulator just exists. There's nothing wrong with them, you know. There's nothing wrong with anything that we experience in life, you know. This is a judgment-free zone. But there's something off when it comes to how you perceive your reality and how you engage with your reality. Because we all have the power of focus here. You know, you need to put your power back into your own hands and recognize and realize that this is no blame game. This is no, we're not pointing fingers like, oh, they're in our, they're, we're not doing that. We're taking our power back and we're, re, we're shifting our perspective to how we are looking at ourselves and looking at others and how we engage in this energy. Now, I dealt with this energy for so many times, for far too long. So when I engage with people and I'm, realizing that oh something something's off about this energy you know let me go explore that and that's what life is all about exploration you explore it enough time and realize that oh like when i feel weird vibes around someone then you know this is giving me insight and early insight to how this connection is going to be i'm going to be feeling weird vibes and then the there are going to be certain experiences that validate where I, why i feel weird vibes you know so rather than going along when I initially come into contact with the person and I feel weird vibes, rather than continuing to nurture that connection, you know, um, I'm going to just walk away from it. I'm going to walk away from it. I'm not even going to second guess my intuition. I'm going to trust in what I feel and I'm going to walk away from it because I know that what's for me is going to feel good. Now we've been programmed in our society to do things that don't feel good. We've been we've been programmed to run away from pleasure and just be so uncomfortable. Being being spaces that are so uncomfortable, being around people that are so uncomfortable. So we have to reprogram ourselves to understand that we are supposed to feel like home when it comes to people, you know, that we interact with and engage with and that we build with. We're supposed to feel good. We're supposed to feel creative. We're supposed to we're supposed to feel expansive. We're supposed to feel life, not death. We should be expanding, not contracting. You know, so we have to understand who we are in order and know who we are in order to deal with someone who's a narcissist. You know, because it has nothing to do with them. They just exist. We don't have to give that energy our focus. We don't have to feed into it. 
but we feed into it when we go against our intuition. That first moment that we meet them and we feel something is off. But no, you wanna go and explore what that is. So whose fault really is it? Is it the person who's just existing? Or is it you not taking accountability for not trusting your intuition? So what do we do? We learn to trust our intuition. And we learn that by, you know, don't be, don't, don't, don't beat yourself up if you slip and you fall. You start to, you, you, you get curious about an energy. You want to explore. Don't beat yourself up because that's a part of your journey. Just recognize what it is. Get the information, the wisdom, the understanding that you need. And then you'll get to a point to where your intuition is so sharp. I'm not going down that road. Don't sleep on life experience. Don't sleep on it because it's all important. Every aspect of your life is necessary in grooming you to be your best version. So thank you so much for joining me here in this moment, y'all. Peace.